Uh-uh. Uh-uh, <laughs> cover your mouth, girl. Nah, All right, so boom. Hey you guys, it's Papa Justin. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be like, I don't even know. Like, it's gonna be like some of what I vlogged while I was in Miami. I'm about to bend to y'all. Maybe it's gonna be a story time. Who the fuck knows? I feel like nowadays my videos just don't have no labels. Let's normalize uploading videos with no titles. <laughs> no, I don't do that. I'm just playing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna incorporate some vlog, some vlog footage, but then I also want to talk to you guys and just chill out. I'm about to um go meet up with one of my friends right now because I just got to New York and I'm like, girl, I need to go to BBQs. Like, I need me a BBQs drink, bitch. I'm itching like this for one so boom so this is gonna be like a vlog story time get ready with me chit chat life update nah but that as though it really is about to be all of that so i don't know we just gonna jump into it and just start talking remember how i used to tell y'all like i'm moving to miami like i really want to live there i don't know if it was because of the coronavirus or what but when i tell y'all like Miami is not it for me at least I don't think so and then I also gained weight out there like you see my face like you can't even tell I got filler because my face is just so fucking round I actually look like a smacked ass right now like you know like after you just smack an ass like I look like an ass cheek y'all now don't judge my makeup right now I I know it's a little on the light side but I'm about to bronze this up and make it a T okay let me tell y'all something I wasn't dating guys for a month in Miami, but I was. Okay, let's go down the list. Oh my God, can we go down the list of all the guys that I was dating out there? I mean, not really dating, but went on a date with. Okay, boom. So I got there. Damn, no, I can't be mixy like that. I mean, I can't. Okay, let me tell you actually about the gaggiest one. This is not the first one, but this is the gaggiest one. So long story short, my friend... My friend's friend, because I don't want to put nobody business out there. So, I'm going to just say my friend's friend. You know, he has friends. <laughs> and his friends are very much like white, older men that like younger Spanish boys. Period. Like, we just going to cut it at that, right? So, he introduces me to this guy. And when I tell y'all, like, no cap. 500 pounds like not even like gassing it i don't even think 400 but no cap like i'm talking about like this bitch like this like this girl big so you know whatever i don't discriminate you know what's up like you know i really don't though and i really like to tell you i know that might sound a little like ill justin you would talk to anybody but not for nothing, if somebody treats me right, or like, I'm not that person at the club that's like, oh, can I buy you a drink? Oh, hey, what's your name? And I'm like, ew, like, you think you could talk to me? Like, gross. Like, uh, I'm not that girl. Like, I give everybody a chance. I'm nice to everybody. Hey, what's up? Boom. So, I come out the room that I'm staying in or whatever, and he's in the kitchen. So, my friend's friend is like, yo, um, he was like, oh, have you met Justin yet? So I come out the room because I guess, you know, I was being a little antisocial and they were having like a pool day at the house or whatever. Boom. So it's like my friend's friend and his friends. And like I told y'all, you know, like older white men, whatever. That's fine. And as soon as I come out the room, we going to call the fat guy. I don't know what we going to call him. We going to call him. Um, we going to call him Jake. So Jake comes. So Jake is like, as soon as he see me, he's like, oh. And he's like, oh, how are you? Like, cause I came outside with no shirt on. I had like these um, baggy sweats with no shirt. And, you know, I, my hair was just wet. I just got out the shower. Like, what's up? Like, you know, but I didn't come out like on purpose like that. That's just really how I was like vibing in the house. So, um, I come out or oh, whatever. And he like, oh, what's your name? Like, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, oh, my name's Justin, da, 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 and we talking. And he's making, like, these fucking disrespectful remarks the whole time. He's like, oh, like, 
Like, my pants kept falling down, and he was like, oh, don't worry, take them off. Like, they're gonna be off later. Like, oh, he'll say, like, little stupid shit like that. And my friend's friend was like, he's gonna hit on you all day. Like, just pay him no mind. Like, and I didn't. I didn't pay him no mind. Like, you know, I'm very, like, I'm cool with the flirt and shit. Like, I'm like, hee hee, ha ha, hee ha ha. Like, bass eyelashes, blank stare. He was like, if you ever wanna drive my truck, he was like, you wanna move out here? Cause if you ever wanna drive my truck, I'm like, I can't drive. So then he asked me, he's like, how old are you? And I'm like, no, he didn't ask how old I was. He was like, you're over 18, right? Can I see your ID if I needed to? And I was like, yeah, why? He was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, he didn't tell me at first. So then, you know, I mean, that was just that on that. He was okay for the, like, the day at the pool party, whatever the case may be. So the guy, he came with another white older guy who kind of liked me too. But it was kind of like the fatter one had dibs on me first or whatever, right? Jake had dibs on me first. So when Jake had left, the other guy was like kind of flirting with me or whatever. He was a younger guy. He was older than me, obviously, but he was younger, as not, younger than Jake for sure. But they were best friends. So whatever the case may be, boom, he ended up leaving and, you know, whatever. So then... My friend's friend go give him my Instagram. I don't know why he did that, but he gave him my Instagram. So the guy writes me like, oh, can I take you on a date? Da, 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 da. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you can take me on a, date. on a date. So we went to the steakhouse, right? So he comes and he picks me up. And you see, and now I got myself all cute. Like, when he seen me, it was like, I was just, like, chilling. But I had got myself so cute. So, he was just, like, drooling, girl. So, he come, he picked me up, girl. Boom, 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 He start telling me this story. So, he's, like, because he had mentioned in the pool, like, oh, I, you know, I went to jail. Let me tell you how white privilege is such a thing. This man had went to jail. And... He used to only go to jail from Friday to Sunday, like, because he had a business and he, like, was able to prove to the court that, you know, he can't run his business. He's a new business owner. He can't run his business um, while he's in jail. He'll lose his business. He'll lose everything that he owns. Like, this is unfair, blah, 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 blah. So the court, like, gave him, like, permission to go to, from, to go to jail from Friday to Sunday. Literally Friday to Sunday like he'll go in Friday morning get out like I think Sunday night or Monday night I don't know whatever it was, but it was only the weekends So he had mentioned that to me and I we was like gagging about that I'm like what that's crazy like white privilege like that but he was cool about it So he like yeah girl like white privilege girl like that So I'm like what so I, I I don't know how the subject came up again in the car when we was on our way to the steakhouse But I was I think I had asked him like why you was like in jail and he was telling me how the cops had baited him for being a pedophile because like basically like somebody hit him up asked him if he was generous my gaze y'all know what that means asked him if he was generous and he was like yeah da -da -da. and the boy was 15 but it wasn't really a 15 year old boy it was a cop so they they put um these charges on him or whatever and blah 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 and blah 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 and blah 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 so whatever he would just went to jail for a year or for a year, but only from Friday to Sunday or some stupid shit like that. So, whatever, boom. So, he was telling me that whole story. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Like, it really be, like, crazy out here, da da, da. So, he was like, yeah, da da, da. We was talking and we was having a, a it was a, a good time. Like, we was, we was talking about drag race. Like, you know, it was cool. Like, we went to the steakhouse. The steakhouse was good. Like, it was regular, right? It was like another pool party. Jay couldn't make that boot party, so his friend was there, and his friend was on me, like, da 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 So then, after that, and I would just leave it at that. Jake's friend was on me, and I was just that on that. So then, after that, we go to brunch, my, my friend's friend, we go to brunch, and I don't know why... My friends, like my friends, friend, he just don't think like, oh, he at least didn't, don't, don't tell me enough. Like, first, you gave this guy my Instagram, now we at brunch and guess who comes walking in the two best friends the one that I went on a date with and the one that was um, flirting with me at the pool party that um Jake wasn't there at which I mean I don't care because I'm single but it's just like girl and then literally one sat here and one sat here so I'm sitting there like and bitch you believe this nigga got the audacity I don't know if he was mad at me yo he was so annoying that whole like brunch I don't know if he was mad at me because I was so because like I talked to his friend or his friend had told him like oh yeah like me and Justin was talking even though we wasn't talking but me and Justin was talking blah blah, blah and he kind of like felt jealous because he's like the big fat friend 
he was just acting mean to me the whole time. Like, literally mean. Like, just saying mean stuff to me. He gonna look. I posted a throwback of me. Like, oh my God. This was four years ago or five years ago. I had no business drinking. I was underage. He gonna... It, cause I, cause he has my Instagram. He gonna go in front of the whole table and, look, and be like, "Oh my God, look at you! Like, yeah, you had no business drinking, and you were so much skinnier there. What happened, y'all? I'm talking about a 500 pound man, big like this, asking me what happened, asking me that I used to be so skinny and what happened. Oh, you got some fucking nerves. Like, you really got some big ass balls. As big as your fucking stomach. Because, bitch, how dare you look at me and ask me what happened to me? Like, bitch, what the fuck happened to you? Like, are you crazy? So, I, like, laughed it off. But I was just like, okay, he's literally being annoying now. And I know he's doing it on purpose because... We're at brunch with the friend and he's just trying to act like extra. And then it was like flies like around me. I don't know why because we were doing brunch outside and you know Florida girl. Like it's just a bunch of like insects and chameleons and all this, a bunch of lizards and shit. So it was like flies around us. Around me I guess. Well I'm going to say around me because they were like flying around like whatever. He like, oh, you stink, like, telling mad loud, telling people I stink, and that's why the flies is around me. Because I said something like, oh, where's the trash at? Because there's mad flies over here. He like, the trash is sitting right here. I'm like, like, you fat bitch. Like, but you see me, y'all, I'm a type of person that is like, it's no... It's no, haha, -ha. well, the trash is sitting right here. Well, what about the trash that's sitting right there? Like, like I just don't got for the, for the back and forth shadiness. Like, because once I cross that line of, like, bitch, stop playing with me, we just going to have to fight because you going to be over it, girl. Like, I'm going to be talking to you reckless. So I try not to get there. But he was being so rude. I was actually gagging. And I was telling my friend's friend when we got in the car, do not invite him nowhere with me no more. Like, this fat ass man, this is why you don't give fucking people a chance. Like, this fat ass man got the nerve to tell me that I'm fat and I stink and I'm trash and all this crazy shit all because he mad. So I remember... Me, while me and Jake's friend, we was talking like this because he had said something like, oh, how are you? Da -da -da. And I'm like, good. I'm like, what you did today? Da -da -da. We talking. Jake on the other side grilling me and I feel it like he's burning a hole in my fucking head. So I turn and I'm like, why are you grilling me? Like, why are you grilling me? And he was like, I'm not looking at you like nothing and literally would do it on purpose and we go like this. I'm like... What is wrong with you? Like, why? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, are you okay? Do you need to talk? Like, do you need to go to, to your therapist? Like, what is what is the problem? Why are you bothering me? Like, oh, mind you, I didn't even say this. So, I didn't even say this. So, rewind real quick. When we went to the steakhouse and everything was good, we was having a good night. So, we was like, but, you know, things are closed and, like, everywhere. So, we was just um driving around. So, he was like showing me where he lived at and stuff like that and showing me like little like places that he goes or whatever and then he was like oh you want to see my apartment so i was like yeah sure and um we go back to his apartment he has a, a nice ass apartment it's really cute like he decked it all him himself he was just showing me around so he was like but before i got there he was like oh yeah there's this boy that's he he's like oh my friend is staying with me because um he's looking for a place or whatever da -da 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 -da. so i let him stay with me for a couple days da -da -da. One thing about the gay community and niggas like that, if their friends aren't of their age group and it's younger guys, bitch, I already know the tea. This is probably somebody who you used to like da 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 with and he was using you for whatever and like, you know, he's probably using you one more time again. I already know the deal. You can't get over, you can't play me on it. The, bitch, I invented this city girl game. Like, I know how this go. So as soon as he said that, I was like, oh, you got a boy in there. I already know. And he was like, no, I don't got a boy in here. He's not a boy like that. Ba 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 ba. Long behold, the boy comes walking in through the door when after he was showing me around. Some cute ass little skinny like spin. I'm like, yeah, this is your friend. And you know, I don't want to judge nobody because you know you can have friends like that. But girl, I know the vibes. You 500 pounds, you white, you older, you just got out of jail. And like, I mean, I don't want to spill nobody business, which is why I'm not saying specific names and stuff like that. But like the friend that introduced me to him, they all are like clients at the strip club, basically. Like, Florida is like good for a lot of male strip clubs. New York doesn't really have a lot of male strip clubs, at least for like 
guys who look like me. Like, the male strip clubs in New York are kind of like buffer guys, like, you know, like super ripped guys. Versus in Florida, like, you could be skinny and petite and, like, work at, like, a strip club. All of them, all of them, even the Jake's friend and all of them, all of them, they are all clients at the strip club. So I already know the vibe. Like, I already know this, that's where y'all go. That's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. Like, please. So, you know, I mean, that was just that on that. I didn't really care too much. But I was just like, I just had to tell y'all that. Like, bitch, I gave this uh, fat ass man a chance. And he got the nerve to call me fat. Like, you got the nerve to call me fat. Are you crazy? And so on some I stink and I'm trash. Your fat sweaty ass up in here, bitch. Like, who are you talking to? So that was one. Sorry, y'all. I was finishing getting ready. I thought I'm even gonna wear this, but whatever. I finished my makeup, so. But anyway, yeah, so the dating life sucks. I have no friends out there, which is, I mean, like, kind of fine. And then there's, like, there's nothing fucking even open. So I just don't think right now Miami is the best move for me. Only because, bitch, for what? I'm gonna move there to do what? To be around who? And I miss New York so much. Like, I know how to live life in New York versus, like, living life in Miami. I don't fucking drive. Everything. I was, bitch, I made Uber Eats rich over this month. Like, bitch, I miss going to the store and getting a bacon, egg, and cheese. I did that as soon as I landed, bitch. I went to my barber. I got me a bacon, egg, and cheese. I just couldn't. Like, I don't know how I even survived there for so long. But, yeah, Miami's a done deal. And, yeah, the end of this video is going to be this little vlog clip. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm back. So, the content is back. I got to give y'all more story times for sure. Because, bitch, we got to talk. Like, we really got to talk. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, right, Sanyo. The Sanyo room. Y'all, look at Sanyo. She threw up all over the floor. No, really <laughs> Like, really, in front of my style, Ew, this is so, y'all, we in Miami, so you already know the vibes, ghetto. So we on Ocean Drive now, with our masks on, and look, everybody not social distancing. Florida is just different, like, nobody give a fuck out here, and me and Senya is risking our lives, we doing a coronavirus challenge. Uh oh! Uh-uh, cover your mouth, girl. Oh my god, we gonna catch you. This is Fat Tuesdays. For Liz. I'm gagging. Close Fat Tuesdays, y'all. Wow, cultural reset for real, though. The girls are fighting on Salvi. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's that? Oh, she loves? Oh, she right there. I got it, I got it. Miami is crazy. Pay your bill. Pay your bill. <laughs> Please fight. She don't get the right one. Somebody don't want to punch on her shit. Y'all, South Beach is real. So y'all, let me tell y'all the story. You don't even know the story? <laughs> I do know the story. So, this girl, she ran out on her bill. I don't know how they got her phone, but the servers got her phone, so they was like, pay your bill, and we give you your phone back. She sprayed the whole, pepper sprayed the whole shit in there. And I'm telling you, she fumigated that shit in there. Everybody was running out. And we was like, what happened? So now I started recording because now, her and another girl was arguing over something. I don't know. And now it's just a movie out here. I have a salt water pool over here too. Is this salt water? No, I don't think this is salt water. Let me see. Mm-mm. No, you could Ooh! Ooh! 
It's not soul water, but it got bleach in it, bitch. Ooh. I'm doing shit to kill the coronavirus. <laughs> yes, y'all. I'm in Miami right now. I'm quarantined, though, so don't worry. Um, I'm not really outside like that. I'm in the house, chilling. As far as all of that goes, hold it down. <laughs> oh, what happened? Why you screaming? Why you screaming? Why you screaming? Why you screaming? <laughs> What happened? Hey, babe! This is my friend Des, guys. She about to do my tattoo, so I'm scared. Look at all her tattoos. Gonna make it hurt extra hard. Uh-uh, don't do that, girl. Uh-uh. You took our flag. No, I'm talking about don't make it her extra hard, bitch. Only for you. Don't get too fucked up that you can't do our time. That you like this, girl. Hey, I'm a girl. Y'all gonna see y'all me looking crazy. I'm thinking about getting it right here. Oh, she's trying to say she's too naive. Y'all don't even know. Look at this thing. I need me that. That is a move. Y'all see her? Yo, honestly, that's how I be feeling when I be walking around with my sugar daddy, and I get extra sugar up like that. Not like that, but I don't like sugar up. I don't know. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, babe. I know. Oh I'm my like, god. I be like this. Let me tell you something. I will go out, right? We'll go out to like, I will be like only really expensive shit, whatever, right? Because I'm thinking only older people are gonna be the bitch. It'd be the finest oh, nigga there that day, there, staring at me with an old ass fuck. I'm like, what I hate. And then like, you gotta hold it, man. You know, you gotta let them kind of. You know, I hate when I'm. With somebody like uh uh because i don't like telling like not sure i don't really have a sugar daddy okay if i had a sugar daddy i'll be rich I have, so whenever i'll be out i hate when i be out and people come up to me like oh my god i love you i don't have to tell people i have to lie i usually lie i'll be like oh i'm out or something because they be like what do you do why do people know who you are oh my god girl I'm a model. I'm a model. <laughs> but stop cheating. Only fans. Only fans. <laughs> That's patting me on her bag, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. It didn't, honestly, it did not hurt at all. Yes, I love it. It's small and cute and dainty. I love it. Y'all, this is the same girl that's in my tattoo on my neck. Why you don't get no dermals? That's too permanent for me. Bitch, why? Are you kidding me? <laughs> for Bitch, a you literally have young forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got some doodle that you did on yourself somewhere. Let's I look at that. Let me see. Oh yeah, her hands. <laughs> Now tell me the significance of this. Oh my god, this is what they do, guys. Ow! <laughs> See what we not about to do? I was asking a girl, I'm like, was she hard when she did it? She was like, no, she was good. I'm like, you sure? Because, like... That's crazy. <laughs> and then you got a nurse to be like, do you? Are you sure you know how to? Right, I'm like, because I'm like, cause I know her personally, and I just feel like, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> Imagine. Wait, does when you doing it? I'm about to do the dermal. Okay, okay, okay. It's scar tissue, so it's gonna be a little hurt. Oh, ow. That's not the part that hurts, it's this part right here. I feel the coming. I feel the coming. Oh, you're done. I feel Is it done? No. Are you serious? No, I'm going to get it now. Wow. This is the part that hurts. Oh, 
BBQ's with my says, you missed me. Hey, oh, so I'm back now. I mean, Justin. I'm back. You wish what? I was unemployed, man. Bitch, I need my unemployment already. YouTube is, uh, let me tell you something. YouTube is, we can get unemployment too. Really? Yeah. YouTube do unemployment, but y'all employed. No, we not. We independent, we independent contractors. They have unemployment for independent contractors, basically. <laughs> I think he fucked this whole shit up. And you, you guys know I don't know. Bitch, let me tell you why I went on a date with this fat ass nigga in, um, in Florida. You know he got the nerve to tell me. Cause, long story short, I'm gonna tell you more to you after the camera's off. But my friend's friend gave him my Instagram. He was, he's mad fat and you know we just had this conversation. So I say, I give anybody a chance. So I, I went on a date with him or whatever. After we went to brunch with all of us, like my, the, my friend's friend, his friends, him, whatever. And I posted like a picture of me five years ago from like my Instagram memories. And he goes on my Instagram and he's like, oh my God, look at you. And I'm talking about like thinking like this, that, like pouring out onto the seat that. He like, oh my God, look at you. You were so skinny. What happened? What happened? I said, sir. Excuse me. I was gagged like how dare you got some fucking nerve. Get that ass. And what you said? I was just like, huh, huh, cause I, I don't know. I was, I was like, <laughs> and both of those is not yours, you think? The wifey. Girl, you, what you eat one for? She didn't eat. It's been like Bishop and Jews, but it's my dudes. Bishop and Chew on my shoe. Oh, you in the back. Oh, you don't know the lyrics. I know. Oh, you not my barb friend no more. Thank you. You is my barb friend. I know some of the lyrics. I don't know all of them. But I bet you know wet ass pussy. I want you to pop this big head truck right. I just can't get into it. I'm sorry, like. I like the video. Oh, the video was bad. Like overhead, like for real, for real. But it's just like the music for me, like, like Cardi B. I like Megan yeah, me Cardi B for me, like I just don't like. I like things that are like witty, like. Maybe she should just be a, a, a model. Like, like model. I want you to think that iggly thingly thing and I might do. Like what? Like. <laughs> Everybody was looking for that part. Everybody was like, I want to gag. Because people are like, when you, Nikki gave y'all the blueprint years ago. I dumped my raps down so I don't lose these bitches. And that's exactly what Cardi do. She don't dump herself down because she's already there. But it's like, I want you to swing that diggly diggly dick in my throat. I want you to hit that diggly diggly Like, what? We'll be trying to go to Steinway tomorrow. Because we we about to be like, toka 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 <laughs> That's what Steinway get though. Let's go to Dykeman. Yeah, I don't. It's too far. For me, it's too far. Like if I live it's too far, it's too far. The weekend is just too much. Yeah, it is too Spanish it's for me too. So. Like, um, Ooh! Ah! He was about to spit on me. <laughs> 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 you heard that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Yeah, I just have to do it. So, yeah. We you had, you know, we had this conversation last time we was walking here too. Remember, I was like, you like to spit? And he was like, no, absolutely not. I feel like there's no point in wearing masks because we ah. all, no, I'm just saying because we all breathe in the same air. Like, so if I cough on you right now, you would have been No, back. I'm saying like... Oh, what if I sneeze on you? <laughs> but no, it's the restaurants for me, like... They like, you gotta wear a mask. You know what I'm the restaurant, but bitch, once we sit down, I'm breathing the same air that I was just at before I came to y'all, bitch. 
Just cause I'm a y'all. It's not about the breaths you take. It's about what you exhale. The uh, um the carbon monoxide. But bitch, it's outside city. We all breathe in the same motherfucking. But we don't bitch. breathe in the same thing we breathe out. You know that, right? What you trying to say? What I'm saying, I'm saying that. We go to we we have to breathe cues, right? I'm breathing the same way I just breathe in. I'm breathing out before I can't see y'all. While I'm staying in y'all little peripheral. What difference does it make? We breathe the same air like we go to outside sea then because we can't eat inside but we still outside and it's the same air that we're sitting, that we're breathing. Like, like every time, if I'm late so I'm probably dragging my words. Yeah. The bitches be claiming they won't. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying, like, put what I'm saying. If y'all get what he's saying, say, explain to me in the comments below. Bro, you get what I'm saying though, Justin, right? Like, we air. breathe in the same air, but it's not about, it's like, it's about that, but the mask helps to prevent that. All right, boy, we all sitting, it's giving outside seeing, so, bitch, I'm going inside your Look, at the end of the day, like, it, this is not supposed to stop coronavirus. It's a, a preventional, like it's preventional precaution so it's like having outside seating having people require them to wear their masks separating the seating making sure like it's not gonna stop it but it's to help prevent the spread of it you're preventing what though like you pre like wearing your mask you could prevent like talking to somebody and like coughing on somebody or like spreading germs just being careful okay you don't get that i get it but it's Okay. It's not gonna stop it. Like, it's just supposed to help. But be claiming they won't. But be claiming they won't. Oh, the city girl! Oh, the city girl! What the fuck? Who are you talking to, bitch? Who is she talking to? Wait, what? She not talking to me. Yeah. I don't fucking know where her fat ass. <laughs> you heard her? All she heard just went all her. All I heard was funny. I didn't hear what she Yeah, all I heard was that if I said that, that, that would be funny. Bitch, she wasn't talking to me. I'm like, I gag. <laughs> so she, like, like, she probably thought I was talking about her.